Hi boys and girls, I'm Ms. Rode. I'm a grade 4 teacher at Ebenezer Primary School in the Cape Winelands and today we'll be looking at arrays. More specifically, what is an array and how can we represent multiplication using an array? Let's go! Now what is an array? An array is an arrangement of rows and columns used to represent a multiplication equation. So let's have a look at arrays in a more practical manner. The following array represents 4 times 3. I use the bottle cap, but you can use any objects lying around in your house. Let's have a look. With this array, I have four rows, so one, two, three, four. And I have three columns, one, two, three. With arrays, the first number generally represents the number of rows that we have, and the second number represents the number of columns that we are working with. And you'll also see that we are multiplying a one digit by a one digit number because I have four rows and I have three columns. Now I'm going to give you a chance to arrange your own array for five times six. Let's go. Is this what your array looks like for five times six? Job well done. You would see that we have five rows, one, two, three, four, five, and we have six columns, one, two, three, four, five, six, which gives us the product or the answer of 30. Now remember, an array is an arrangement of rows or columns which represents a multiplication equation. Thank you for watching. See you next time.